Hey, hey, y'all. I have been super unproductive, and so I just thought I would sit down and work on a mold or model for a pot de verre piece that I'd like to do. So I'm just using my silver container as a um, support. So I'm just using some Pleistocene clay to um, hand build like you would in pottery, I suppose. I say that because I have never taken a pottery class. So I'm assuming when you hand build, coil build, this is the process, kind of the process that you would go through. So the nice, the beauty about the Pleistocene clay is that it doesn't uh, dry out like potter's clay. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot, but when I think of something, I will chime in. Um, basically, I need to come up with a little model like this guy. Okay, this one's small, and this one is out of um, potter's clay. And I've got some little dings to smooth out on it. And Granted, the potter's clay smooths out a whole lot easier than the Pleistocene or Plasticine, whatever you call it. But that's what I'm using for this one anyway. I have been known to scrap these and go back to the potter's clay because um, it is a little softer, easier to model but I don't know about you all but I have been encompassed with this coronavirus trying to get everything in order in case things are shut down as I have a spouse whose immune system is compromised and so we're just kind of hunkering down and luckily I work from home so I have a nice studio it's appealing it's warm it's inviting and I have my little kitties so I'm in pretty good shape in general So I'm thinking that I got into the Brookside Art Annual here in Kansas City, and I'm anticipating them canceling out because it's always the first or second weekend in May. And here in Kansas City, they are, um, they've now um, shut down things or any events that would be for people, um, for 50 people or more. And so I'm thinking this isn't gonna happen. I'd love for it to, because it's the first show I've applied for in a long time. I'm trying to get my feet wet again in the arts and craft world. And I hit a bad time. Clearly, but you know, there's not much I can do about that. So I just keep on working, try to keep my momentum going. It's been hard because I've been super distracted. Um, but maybe I can focus now. I've got pretty much everything in order that I need to get in order, I think.
Sorry for all the moving of the camera. I don't know how to how else to do this. So. So once I get all my my clay put on here, I'll get it all smoothed out. I can do a little smoothing with my thumbs and fingers right now, just to kind of take it down. But I really need to get this top piece on it to fill it out. So I'm going to do that. So I've got some dental tools and some clay tools here. Um, there's some blades for carving into the clay, kind of like that, or get more creative. I have some pieces in wax that I've already, I made silicone molds of some of my pieces that I've made in chasing in, in silver, um, chased in reposade. So I actually made a, a silicone mold of that piece. They're real rough looking right now, but of my longhorn beetles, of my little hemiptera stink bugs, I actually collected some little acorns last fall and took models, molds, I guess. I don't know. And then I carved a little a moth and a big a big acorn so I'm going to come back over here to the clay and work on it Let me get this moved okay so to figure out what I can do. I can't find my... I have a great little tool. It's just a piece of steel that's flexible that allows me to bend it much more flexibly than this. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> but so I can create smooth sides and, and such. But we're going to play with this a little bit, see if this helps me get it at least partially smoothed out. So no judgment from all you ceramic artists out there. <laughs> it's a, a learning thing for me and I'm notorious for trying things on my own because I can't always spend the money on a a class. So May or may not stick with this clay. I may go to the modeling clay or the um, ceramic clay. Let's see what this does. I've never used this. So. Oh, look at that. This might be my ticket for a moment.
So once I'm done with this, I have to make a plaster um, mold of this. I'll pull the clay out of the plaster and that will be my master mold if I choose it to be for my, um, I would pour wax into it, pull the wax out, and then I would um, then make another plaster mold because I'm using that one as my master and I would make the plaster mold of the wax, pull the wax out, and then that plaster mold would then be packed with glass frit. Hence the pot de verre piece would come from that. So. I'm like a bull in a china cabinet sometimes. A lot of the times. <laughs> Oops, come guys. Alright, so I'm going to continue working on this. And I will get back to you.